words can't really describe it for me. Um, you know, it was such a long season, uh, so many ups and downs. Um, you know, but we've always stuck together, um, and we've continued to get better. And uh, for me personally, it's like it's unimaginable, really. Um, you know, after these five years of really just grinding it out, you know, and just, you know, things would go against me and, and you know, there's a lot of tears and pain and sadness, but, uh, you know, through it all, I just continued to fight and, and stay, stick with it and um, things have, have turned out for the best. Going back to just a year ago, I'm talking to Jay before, you know, you weren't playing like a year ago. You said he told you 2014 was going to, like, really going to be a year. How was that, that kind of period when you weren't getting minutes or just sitting on a bench? Or, <laughs> yeah, it's always tough when you're not playing, and especially when you, you kind of know you're coming into a situation where um, the players in your pos position are established and um, you got to sit and wait your turn. Um, uh, so coming in uh, to this uh, this new season, I, I worked my, my tail off in the off season and uh, maybe too hard. And I came in injured and um, had a battle through uh, calf strings throughout uh, the first half of the season. And finally got myself fit and had to wait my turn and it took nine losses to get to get my chance but um, eventually uh, I got it and I made sure I, uh, I took it and, and ran with it um, but you know I think uh, what's really important is is the guys in this locker room have, have pushed me th since I've been here um, they've really seen uh, you know the, the potential that I have and 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 they want me to succeed, and, and that goes uh, a long way. I mean, that's why I'm, I'm playing the way I am now, is these guys have all the faith and confidence in me and, and have, have built me up from, from, from the bottom, and as well as the, the medical staff here, um, keeping me healthy. That's been uh, extremely difficult the past five years. So, um, you know, finally to feel healthy and, and be able to play week to week at 100% is a, is a great feeling. How does it feel to get this win in New England tonight, to win the series? <laughs> it's amazing, um, you know, uh, to to be in my first MLS Cup, um, and you know this this uh, franchise has been there, uh, you know, three or four times and, and hasn't won yet. So uh, for us to, to finally get a chance to to, to win one uh, would be extremely special, especially since I grew up here. So um, you know, bringing a championship back to Boston would be uh, you know the ultimate goal and, and uh, something that uh, we we hope we can do. And I think. We all have the confidence that uh, if we go out and play the way we can, uh, that, that we can make that happen. Can you talk about what you saw on both goals? What was that? Can you talk about what you saw on um, both goals? <clears throat> yeah. Um, you know, la the last match we played in New York, uh, it was extremely difficult. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going against two big center backs, and, and um, you know, I definitely studied uh, the match this whole week and, and, and saw where, you know, their, their weaknesses were, and, and uh, I found that, you know, uh, most of the time, set pieces, they, they left me unmarked. Um, and, uh, you know, crosses, uh, I could find myself unmarked as well. And, um, you know, the, the space in the corners, they, they weren't uh, great at, at tracking. So, um, you know, today I kind of tried to exploit that. And, and um, I got great balls from, from our uh, midfielders and, and defenders. So um, I was able to, to stretch the game and, and um, you know, uh, really feel like I got into the game this time. Um, whereas I think in New York, I felt like I was just running and really never got into a rhythm. Where today I felt like, yeah, it was a battle, of course, with Olave out there, but um, I felt like I, I was more into the game and I had more touches and, and uh, the team um, was, was able to find me more. How good do you feel physically form-wise at this point? I feel great. Um, you know, I, the, the thing with me is, you know, I, I've never been satisfied. Um, I always want to be better. I'm always trying to get better. and. Um, I'm at a point right now where I feel that <clears throat> um, after every game, I'm not struggling to recover. I'm not, I'm not, you know, in in the uh, training room getting massages till till game day. So, um, you know, I think that's a huge point uh, for me is is to be able to recover. But uh, now I feel like um, I've been able to get back to to be able to play like the way I used to, and uh, now it's just improving, just continuing to improve. And um, I think I'm a smarter player now, and uh, you know, it's. It's, I think it's going to be great uh, next season. I think next season I'll really have my feet under me. So, um, you know, it's, it's just uh, continuing to build and continuing to um, improve, and uh, hopefully uh, I can continue to uh, make new heights. Okay. Okay. Would you rather see two one, two one? It seemed like you guys took a step back, like maybe wobbled you guys a bit, but kind of shook it off. What was your sense of how you guys reacted and responded? <clears> I thought we, re we reacted great. Um, you know, there were times where in the game I felt that uh, we really had control, um, and we didn't we didn't take a, 
you know, advantage of the opportunities that they gave us. Um, and, and of course, you have Henri, and he's going to play these unbelievable balls, and you know, they, they score two goals. So um, I was I was never really. Uh, you know, nervous that that we weren't gonna get through, um, but uh, we we responded in the right way, and you know that's that's how you, you win championships. So um, I'm really proud of the, the guys in this this locker room. Uh, we we have the right mentality, and I think last year's playoffs really helped a lot of the young guys. And now it's uh, we know uh, you have to be stay tuned in for 90 minutes. And they shared a few yeah, words with Henri at the end of the game. What, what was that conversation like? <clears throat> I told Thierry, um, you know. It's an honor to be on the field with him. He's uh, he's a player that he, you always aspire to be. I mean, he's you know in his prime with Arsenal. Um, it really doesn't get better than that. Um, and to see him still at 37, still play the way he does, it's unbelievable. Um, now he's not really uh, he's not really um, taking people on as much as he used to, but he, he can still read the game so well and the balls he plays to, to give opportunities to his teammates is still unbelievable. So I just made sure, I said, I, I'm so appreciative to, to get the chance to be on the same uh, field as you. Um, you know, you're an unbelievable player and I, I wish, I hope that you're still in the league next year. Would you like